page 149. Consider that false prophets and priests, as well as all other servants of gods and servants of tin gods, and all the rest and groups who are secessionists from the truth, or sectists, or those who glorify themselves as, or give themselves out as, slash, give themselves heirs as, divinities and heightened ones, or sublime ones, or as sect leaders, are fooling you with promises and stirring up desires, or vices, slash, wantonness, slash, pathological cravings, slash, urges, in you, and wishes of alsartung and unright, because they are seducers, and everything that they promise is pure delusiveness. And truly, if you follow the seducers, then you will find no way to escape from the darkness of your inequity or unfairness and unrighteousness or conscienselessness. So you will continue to founder in unknowledge of the truth and without giving the virtues enough consideration. Truly, all those amongst you who do your good deeds and are connected to the truth and the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring or creation, you will create gardens of happiness in yourselves and cultivate or grow plants of love and of knowledge and of wisdom and streams of joy and of well-being will flow through the garden and allow peace and freedom and consonance or harmony to prosper therein. This garden is your inner paradise which will forever dwell or live in you. So you hold firm to it unswervingly and truthfully and care for your inner realm of pleasure or realm of the firmament slash paradise. Whoever amongst you does not, however, create the garden of knowledge, love, and wisdom, and therefore not the garden of freedom, peace, and consonance or harmony, will create a shadow world or hell with flaming or blazing fire in themselves or in their nature, which will burn you up. Truly, the laws and recommendations of the fullness of the life or creation do not go according to your wishes or the wishes of all peoples or humanity, because you and people of your kind, or fellow human beings, have to fall in line with the laws and recommendations of the fullness of the life or creation, so that you do rightfully and lead a pleasing life. If you do not heed the laws and recommendations of the fullness of the life or creation, and if you do evil, then you will find neither true friends nor helpers who stand by you in openness or honesty. And those who do not call themselves your friends, you will not find any grace from them. If, however, you do good deeds, whether you are man or woman or child, and if you are connected to the truth, then you will find true friends amongst people of your kind, or like-minded ones, as also amongst those who are not attached to or connected to the truth, of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of the love or creation and the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, because they value or esteem your good deeds and show you thanks. And all of you, whether you are man or woman or child, you will build up in yourselves a pleasing or favorable realm of pleasure or realm of the firmament slash paradise and you will not be aware of or feel any unright in yourselves, not even the smallest iota of weight, because your reward is righteousness or conscientiousness and virtuousness. And who amongst you has greater knowledge and greater wisdom than you who are connected to the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, you who do good deeds and are upright ones in your righteousness or conscientiousness and in your virtues, and you who follow the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of the love or creation. Truly, those amongst you who are fair ones or responsible ones and valiant in the fulfillment of your duties and your obligation or responsibility, life has you as its special friends. Truly, 
the primal wellspring of all grace or creation, is solely the truth of all reality or being, and the truth of all activity or existence in the firmaments or universe, on the earths or world slash planets, and whatever is in between or outer space, and it alone also encompasses all things of the life of each creature, of the waters, the airs, the firmness or stone slash rock, and everything that crawls and flies. If you are searching for a decision in the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all grace or creation concerning man and woman and child, then you will find it if you are in open willingness or of open sense. If your willingness or open sense is not sufficiently skillful or educated, then rely on the teachings of the prophets, which is the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all grace or creation, in which you find the precious decision, and therefore act accordingly as is presented to you and taught to you through the truth teaching of the prophets when you have to decide about orphans, when they want to enter into a bond or want to marry, so that you give them your help for everything that they need and act equally in good decision according to right law and recommendation if you have weak ones or disabled ones amongst children so that they may also be given equitableness or fairness and help in all things and so may have a good life also practice equitableness or approval slash fairness in all things of right and law and of recommendations for the orphans so that they may lead an existence to the extent of everything necessary and heed the rights of man and woman and of children so that no unright or gewalt is done to them and they may lead their existence rightfully in freedom and peace and therefore in consonance or harmony and not be starved of food or drink and not suffer want of provision for all the things they need and if in a bond or marriage a woman or a man fears rough treatment or unconcernedness from the other, then it shall be of rightness for both that they discuss the difficulty or problem with one another in a seemly wise and achieve reconciliation with one another, because reconciliation in righteousness or conscientiousness and flawlessness or honesty is truly the best so that peace may be brought about and make sure that you are not full of greed and avariciousness whether you happen to be in a bond or marriage or if you are unbound or single because such doing brings unpeace and unfreedom in yourselves as well as dissonance or harmony and strife with people of your kind or fellow human beings therefore it is better for you if you are truly versed in the laws and recommendations of the primal power of all life or creation and follow them so that you may turn to righteousness or conscientiousness and to goodness truly it may be that no matter how greatly you may wish it you cannot find any comprehensive equality or balance between yourselves if you are connected in a bond or marriage as man and woman or if you are connected in a straightforward bond of inclination slash lesbian slash homosexual bond slash unity between man and man or woman and woman because truly there cannot be a perfection in equitableness or balance but only an approximation or relativity slash proportionality therefore you can only achieve a limited or conditional equality or balance between yourselves and even then only if you are inclined to one another and do not leave one another in abeyance or uncertainty and if you act together in such a wise 
then your equality or balance between one another will be excellent or the best. And if you do not separate and you are concerned to achieve an equality or balance between yourselves, then your fullness of love and consonance or harmony will make you independent from useless strivings about one another. And consider that if you are connected to one another in true love, then you nevertheless, or all the same, have to retain your independence or free will so that you do not fall prey to unfreedom or subservience to the other. Truly, it is both in a bond and not in a bond, rightful, that man and woman have their own opinion and may announce it also without inhibition or fear. And this also applies to children in such a wise that what is said shall not be punished, providing it is not of unright. Truly, everything that has been created in the firmaments or universe and on earths or world slash planets is the act or deed of the creation and also its laws and recommendations by means of which you are protected in your existence if you give them ampleness or sufficiency and you receive the teaching of the truth the teaching of the spirit the teaching of the light through the true prophets by which you come to know the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the creation so that you may turn yourselves to it and be knowing or conscious in the truth and so you give yourselves satisfaction the firmaments or universe and earths or worlds slash planets and all existence are created by the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation so that you are present or existent and you may dedicate yourselves to the duty of unfolding or evolution of your inner world or consciousness. If you want to, you can keep yourselves from learning the truth teaching, but you cannot put others in your place who could bring fullness or sufficiency to the learning of the truth teaching and to the unfolding or evolution of your inner world or consciousness for you or learning for you. Whoever amongst you desires the reward of this world may consider that the reward here below is always measured according to your conduct or behavior and how your deeds and words are evaluated. And those amongst you who are firm in uploading, upholding, or maintaining equitableness or fairness in righteousness or conscientiousness and in the virtues, you are witnesses to the truth even if it is directed against yourselves or against your parents and siblings or against your children and relatives. Whether you may be rich or poor, truly you all have the same rights and duties and obligation or responsibility in all things whatever you do. Therefore, do not pursue base desires or vices slash wantonness slash pathological cravings slash urges so that you will always be capable at any time and in all things of acting according to equitableness or seemly slash commensurate slash modest slash fair and if you keep secret the truth in any things if you falsify it or eschew it then consider that it will push through to the light of day in good time and will accuse you as liars and slanderers or calumniators or as those withdrawing from or eschewing the truth. All of you turn to the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all things or creation which are given to you by the teaching of the true prophets which they reveal to you and already revealed to your forefathers and foremothers or ancestors slash forebears so that you do not go into confusion in your existence and do not do unright. Consider that if you become knowing or conscious in the truth and then fall away from it again 
but then come back to the truth a second time and to its teaching, and then fall away from it once more, that your unknowledgeness will rain down over you to such an extent that you will not find your way back to the truth, and you will wander on the way of ruin without forgiveness directed by your false intentions or thoughts and feelings. Truly, those amongst you who are hypocrites, you yourselves are imposing a painful punishment on yourselves in your inner nature and in your psyche, because disguise, or hypocrisy, makes you into outlaws, or ostracized ones, slash outcasts, amongst people of your kind, or fellow human beings. And those amongst you who take unfair ones, or irresponsible ones, and unrighteous ones, or conscienceless ones, and depraved ones, or ones without virtue, as your friends, are you by any chance looking for honor under their hands, or with them? But consider true honor is only ever with the fair ones, or responsible ones, and righteous ones, or conscientious ones, and with the virtuous ones. You hear that the teaching of the prophets has been given to you, the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation revealed by the true prophets, as you hear it. But those amongst you who do not want to learn the truth, but rather deny and mock it, truly you do not want to hear the truth teaching, but you sit with other deniers and mockers of the truth and do not want to pass over to a debate about the truth with them, so that you may not become knowing in the truth. Those amongst you who are waiting for a good evaluation of yourselves, no success will be granted to you if you do not go hand in hand with the truth, and do not strive for the truth, because truly even if you prove to be the stronger ones in existence, whilst however guarding yourselves against the truth, and not allowing it to become your own, then you will be the losers, and will only receive bad evaluations of yourselves. Truly, you decide over yourselves, and you will never give yourselves the opportunity to prevail if you do not integrate or fall in line with the real truth as is given by the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all equitableness or creation. The hypocrites amongst you, you, together with your false prophets and priests and with other worshippers of gods and worshippers of tin gods, are attempting to delude and deceive people of your kind, or fellow human beings. So you lead them to pray to fabulated or invented gods and tin gods, and people of your kind, or human beings, who appear as god equivalents and heightened ones, or sublime ones, and as representatives or substitutes of gods and tin gods, but with your delusion and your deceit and your prayers or invocations slash edifications, you are merely standing there so that people of your kind or human beings may see you and you may shine before them in order to mislead them into the untruth, whilst you yourselves do not think one iota about the real truth. Truly, there are many amongst you who sway to and fro between the truth and the untruth, and between this and that, and belong neither to the truth nor to the untruth. Therefore, you are always threatened with casting yourselves into ruin because you do not find the way to the truth and to reality. All those amongst you, you can give yourselves an evident proof of the truth only to yourselves, out of your inner nature, if you find the truth in yourselves through your own investigation, or searching, slash researching. Although this will only be of rightness if you keep away from the belief or assumptions in gods and tin gods, which you are persuaded into by the godliness or religion and its priests and other servants in erroneous assumption and in enticement. Truly, those amongst you who are hypocrites, 
you are, with no doubt, creating a deep, firing pit in yourselves, in which you burn yourselves, and you will not find any helpers to rescue you from the blaze. But those amongst you who are sorry, and better yourselves, and turn away from your disguise, or hypocrisy, and learn to hold yourselves sincerely and firmly to the truth and its teaching, you belong to those who receive a good reward in themselves, because joy and happiness, and therefore love, consonance, or harmony, are current or present in them. And those amongst you who are sincere and knowing, or conscious in the truth, you spread or give your good reward of love and consonance or harmony, of freedom and peace also to people of your kind or fellow human beings, through which a new good reward will be granted to you. And consider the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation, and that no punishments emanate from them. Therefore you shall be thankful, and shall not yourselves bring about any punishments, neither against yourselves nor against people of your kind or fellow human beings. Therefore recognize the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation, because they alone are included into equitableness or fairness and true love, in contrast to the laws and recommendations that you yourselves make, and which demand acts of gewalt or torture, and killing or death penalty, as well as revenge and retaliation and battle or war, which are entirely unrightful. It contradicts the truth of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of all existence, or creation, and therefore of the true teaching of the prophets, if you do unright, if you steal and rob, if you plunder and lie and deceive, if you slander and calumniate, if you practice amongst yourselves acts of gewalt or torture, or other gewalt and killing as a punishment, and, and in battles or wars or anywhere else. And it is unrightful for you to make unseemly speeches openly or in public or in secret, whether you happen to be in the right or in the unright, because the word and speaking only befit the dignity of appropriate seemliness. If an unright happens to one amongst you, then speak out for him or her in truth and equitableness or fairness. But do not debase yourselves by making unseemly remarks and speeches for him or her, because they are not only unbecoming or improper slash inappropriate of dignity, but they also cause harm to the one to whom unright is done.